Hello guys, it is Constant Upgrader here with another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In this episode, we're uh, still waiting for our contact lenses that we need to get to the west side of my city swerve. And, um, yeah, to access Don Pianta. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in this episode, we're going to be fighting Gus. Now, yawn outsider. Uh, let's see, what else should I do? Accent-wise, I'm getting too English. What about German, maybe? I'm really bad at it, but I'll try. Past this point is the turf of Ishnel, head of the robots. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without aim, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I'm really bad at that. <laughs> I can take you. Pot? You've got to be kidding! You think you can fight your, your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. <laughs> More like a wimp Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> wow, that sounded nothing. German, I... I don't know how to do it though. I need to, I need to find somehow to... Some way to improve on that. Anyways... Uh, Josiah Clark, he also, darn it, he also started doing, uh, Let's Play in Paper Mario recently, and, um, he actually took Gus on, like, when he just leveled up one time, or maybe he didn't even level up, but it was a close battle, and I can't believe he actually won. So you should go check out his, uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Let's Play too. After you watch this one, of course. <laughs> Alright, so, as you can see, when we're leveled up really high, Gus, does, Gus goes down really easily. So, if you're low leveled, I recommend um, just skipping this fight until you're level at least, at least have 20 HP or something. Because if you lose, you're not going to like it. But we win, so no big deal. <laughs> Crawd! You dumb video game heroes! Always pull this stuff! It's ridiculous! Oh, you think Valiant solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Hmm. Well, maybe it wasn't. Hey, you stole my money! Hey, this area's up the turf of Ishmael and the robot band. Thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in the back alley that few people can spot. Oh, really? Hey, look at Keyhole. The Keyhole. And, uh, yes, I'm good. This is the place where you can ask for work and a bunch of crazy stuff. It's kind of like the Sticker Star Sticker Stand. And <laughs> that's kind of fun to say. Sticker Star Sticker Stand. And, um, it's actually called the Trouble Center. And we have to, uh, Um, oh, I suppose we must talk to Ishmael first. I didn't read that quite away, but I saw Ishmael in there, so that's what we're going to do. So you can actually spot those footprints down there in case you didn't notice that this hole is paper walkable thing. Paper walkable, I guess. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is where Ishmael lives. But let's talk to this guy. Who me? My name's Pierre. I'm uh, technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist, researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology, and now I'm an amazing thief. Ha 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 ha! that's a cute thief. Oh no, it's a star piece, and there's one right above my head. My luck is too good. Oh gosh, whatever. Let's see what Ishmael's up. Uh, Ishnail is up to. You want something, chump? It's the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say, ain't vacation. What's that? Want to meet that lion, cheating, stealing, no good, joking for the brains, Don Pianta? You thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? Did you know that scumbag demands protection and money from us too, yeah? 
You know all that. And you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine. Mr. Incentive Jerk. But it'll cost you 64 coins. No budging on the price. Not a single coin. Inside info is pricey. Them's the breaks. You, you'll pay? Really? Yeah, you heard me. You don't have enough cash, you dirty cheat. You ain't put a fast one on this snail. Please come back after you knock on the bank or something, chump. Uh, the music in here is really cool, but I should have known about those, uh, uh, that we didn't have enough, uh, coins. <laughs> so, uh, let ah, uh, yes, perfect. And I was saving, you know how I got robbed by that thief in the very beginning, like episode one, I think? Yeah, I was saving those coins for a really special occasion such as this. So instead of grinding and fighting, all we have to do is find that thief. Oh wait, I think that's her contacts already. Oh, awesome. Everything's going my way here. <laughs> um, this is where you lose. Kind of a filthy dump, you know, but uh, it's a thief's life for me, Savvy. It's a thief's life for me, Savvy. Oh, I messed that up. <laughs> Got some kind of problem? You think you can just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous no one's snooping around. It's a perfect hideout spot with all this garbage there. Tons of flies and stuff. Who wouldn't want to come in here? Wait, wait, what, 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 what? Oh, my coins are... I Did I already get my coins? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I completely jinxed myself. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh wow, wow, wow. Oh, um, uh, you know what? Maybe I can sell an expensive badge to be able to afford it. Because I know that we don't need that badge that makes everything harder to fight. Let's see. Oh, that looks like Miss Mouse. Welcome, welcome, Fee Fee, the turn around. I'm <laughs> messing up the text. It's so fun, but I gotta stop. <laughs> Big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely House of Badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? I'm, uh, no, I'm not buying. I am not buying. I am selling. I got it. Let's see. Shrink Stomp. I don't really need that. Hmm. Yeah, this store is just really useful, uh... Wow, who would anyone- why would anyone want that? It receives... I guess for a challenge or something, but I don't understand that. Why, why, why? It was just like an easter egg or something? Drop the damage your ally deals and receives... Oh! Oh, I get it. Drop the damage your ally deals and receives by one. That's still really stupid. <laughs> deal. Deal. I don't want to sell. I have the perfect number of coins and we're going to see this snail. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that is... That is good, actually. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, darn it. Get away. Alright. I'm gonna see Ishnail today and find out how to see Don Pianta if it's the last thing I do in this episode today.